How do commas help us read and write numbers? For example, how do I write 45,321 in word form? In this lesson, you will learn how to read and write numbers in word form by understanding the role of commas. Let's review our place value chart. Our place value chart is represented by different periods. We have our ones, thousands, and then millions. Within each of these periods, we have three sections. Our units, then tens, and then hundreds. This pattern repeats with each section. We have our units, tens, and hundreds, and then when we move to the millions, we repeat again. The units, tens, and hundreds. Let's also review the importance of adding a TY to groups of 10. When we talk about numbers 20 through 90, when writing numbers in word form. For example, 20, 50, and 90 all contain a TY. A common mistake many students make is forgetting to use a hyphen between tens and units when writing numbers. For example, 256 contains a hyphen between the 50 and 6, and 588,000 contains a hyphen between the 80 and 8. Another common mistake is inserting AND when reading and writing numbers without decimals. For example, 1,405 sometimes is said or spoken 1,405. We need to delete the AND because the AND implies that we have a decimal or part of a whole. Let's look at the number 6,312,445. If we were to write this number in word form, we would need to insert special words wherever we see a comma to signify the period or unit. Our first comma is in the millions. So when we see the first comma, we need to insert the word million when writing this number in word form. So we would write 6 million. When we move to the next period, or the thousands, we would insert the word thousands at the end of that period. So here we have 312,000. And then we move to the next period and write 445. There are some special things to point out. When we see the number 12 or numbers between 11 and 19, we always write those as one word. And then remember to always insert a hyphen between the tens and units, or tens and ones in this case. So 45 would have a hyphen between the 40 and the 5. Let's look at another number. Here we have 24,529,350. Remember, wherever we see that comma, we need to insert the unit name. So we have 24 million. We move to the next period, 529,000. And then finally, the ones, 315. Again, when we see the number 24, we need to remember to insert a hyphen. With the 29, we would insert a hyphen again between the tens and units, and then 15 is written as one word. Let's look at a number written without a place value chart. Remember, each period on our place value chart is separated by commas. We have our thousands and millions. So we will insert the word millions and thousands when we write this number in word form. We would begin with the 3 and have 315 million. Then we move to our next period, 776,000. And then finally, 283. In this lesson, you have learned how to read and write numbers in word form by understanding the role of commas.